All right, and welcome to Field Engineering. My name is J.D. Brake, and with me again is the uh, the pro, Phil <laughs> Kimball. He has uh, joined us today for Field Engineering, and uh, Phil, we're going to talk about some special applications. You know, here at Jackson, we pride ourselves in being uh, controls uh, specialist, and there's some applications out there that are a little, little bit off, a little bit niche, and uh, I think we have a solution here. <laughs> I wanted to bring up a scenario where there are, let's say, maybe in a commercial situation where you have multiple rooftop units and you only want to control it with one thermostat so you don't have to mess with, you know, a bunch of programmable thermostats and have to go to each one, but you want all of them to operate in sync. Um, what kind of solutions do we have? A product called a universal twinning kit. Okay. Um, universal twinning or paralleling kit. And basically what it's designed to do is to allow you to take two air handlers or two heating air conditioning systems and either twin them together. And twinning, when I say twinning, what I mean is that you're using the same supply duct for two air handlers. Mm. So you're moving, you're taking the air from both air handlers and you're pushing them through one supply duct. Now, paralleling, on the other hand, and this is paralleled units are all over the, the place. Uh, probably the biggest application that I see paralleling it, uh, used <coughs> is in churches. Yes. You have a mm -hmm. big sanctuary, and you can't put a rooftop unit on a beautiful church. You right. Know? Uh, you've got high ceilings, vaulted or cathedral-type ceilings, so... What they'll do is take a couple split systems, mm -hmm. and they'll have two air handlers, and they'll run ductwork down both sides. The problem is, now they're using two thermostats to try to control the temperature, let's say, in the sanctuary. Right. And the problem is, the thermostats fight each other. Right. They are not on sync. So the better alternative is to be able to use one temperature control, mm -hmm. and to be able to twin or parallel the units together. So in paralleling, you're using two separate duct pieces of duct work. One unit is pushing air out one duct work and the other one the other duct work. But in twinning applications, you're taking two hand air handlers and you're actually ducting them into one big supply. I gotcha. So there's some issues there when people look at twinning applications that they need to be very concerned about. Okay, such as? Such as. <laughs> this twinning kit uses a separate 24-volt transformer. And the reason we do that, that transformer is going to provide power to the twinning kit and then also power out to a single thermostat that's going to control both units. So you don't want to use the transformer from the equipment. We highly recommend you don't because of the problem, what we call phasing. If you have two a transformer in each air handler, right, and you try to use one of those transformers to power this unit, mm -hmm. then when we send our signal out to both units, we have a phase issue, and we're going to end up blowing this board, or we're going to be blowing uh, fuses all the time. <laughs> So what we do is we totally isolate ourselves. <coughs> this twinning kit is isolated from the equipment transformers. And all we are is a switch. In other words, we take the 24 volt hot and we either apply it to W or Y or G. And that way we isolate ourselves from the equipment transformers. So remember that when you're twinning an, uh, an application mm -hmm. that each air handler typically has their own 24 volt transformer right we're only going to use the hot side of that transformer and we don't use the common so never bring the common hmm. from a transformer in a piece of equipment back to this panel right we're just a switch dry contacts r to y r to w r to g hmm. and that's probably the most common uh issue we receive here at jackson systems with regards to technical support uh right. the tech calls in and you ask him are you did you isolate this 
twinning kit from the equipment transformers. No, we use one of the transformers, we power this, and then we keep blowing fuses. Well, the reason is he's got a phase problem because we're also trying to switch another transformer mm -hmm. and we get problems there and we blow fuses. So always make sure you isolate this. Use a separate transformer. Uh, 24 volt, 20 VA, 40 VA, it doesn't take much to power this in a thermostat. And now we're totally isolated from the equipment. Now can you stage with using a twinning kit? Let's say you wanted to bring on air handler one and then when it doesn't meet set point quick enough, can you bring on air handler two or is that not uh, technically a good idea. Um, if you were paralleling, you could. Okay. Because we're not concerned about the blowers. Right. But if you're twinning two units together, then what? It, you really can't take unit number one and say that's going to be first stage mm -hmm. and then output to unit number two as your second stage. Even if you were using lead lag control, you're going to have problems because what happens is when we send a signal to unit number one, we're calling that first stage. Right. And we go to bring on the furnace, especially in a gas uh, application. Uh, and this is most critical in a, in a, a gas furnace type right. application is, is that even though we can send a continuous G signal, a fan signal to both air handlers, if we do that, hmm. the unit that we call heat for, let's say first stage. Yeah that air handler isn't going to come on because the draft inducer starts and you go through, you know, it has mm -hmm. to confirm yeah. before it will allow the gas valve to open up and uh, the uh, pilot to, you know, the, the unit to light and it confirms the, uh, the flame and all this stuff. And you're talking about anywhere, it could be 30 seconds, sometimes a minute. And while you're doing that, the other air handler is cranking up. This is getting a fan mm, signal. Yeah. So <laughs> now we're what we're doing is we're backpedaling yeah. the other blower. So I uh, see. That could be an issue. It could be an issue because <laughs> all of a sudden now you got conditioned air coming out of the returns. Right. The only time you could do that is to use backdraft dampers. Hmm. In other words, to prevent backpedaling of a blower. Uh, we don't recommend it. Mm -hmm. In other words, if you have two <clears throat> units that both have a low and a high flame or a first and second stage, you could do it that way. You could bring on first stage with both units, hmm. and if the thermostat calls for second stage, then you fire both second stages together with the units. Um, again, paralleling, not an issue, because you're using two separate ductworks. Right. But twinning, it is an issue. So when you look at staging, keep in mind that in a twinned application, you can't bring just one unit on at a time. Now, if it were a heat pump or electric furnace, um, or if it was just straight cooling, yes, you could do that because we're going to kick the air handlers on at the same time, and you could use a condenser uh, make on unit number one, and if you wanted to upstage, you could use condenser on unit number two as your second stage. But it only okay. applies itself in heat pump applications or electric uh, heating. Gas furnaces, you're going to get into trouble unless you use backdraft dampers. So our friends in the south, I mean, I, you know, when I go on a vacation, sometimes we'll rent a beach house and they'll have multiple units just because it gets so stinking hot. I mean, it, do yep. you think they could do that? Just control one thermostat with two units or using just the air conditioning? Um, they could. They could do hmm. that. Yeah. Okay. Rather than having two thermostats. Right. Sure. Because you want sure. as many hands off the thermostats yeah. in a and it, vacation and that's, rental and that's as probably, possible. It's probably more of a paralleled application. Right. In other words, it's got two separate units. Right. And they got two thermostats. You could use one thermostat and use a twinning kit, and you bring on, bring on uh, unit number one. And if you're not keeping up, uh, it uh, asks for second stage, and second stage is outputted to unit number two. So. Mm. Uh, Never thought about that, but that's a good idea. <laughs> and then, of course, throw some uh, Lodge Watch uh, switches oh, on yeah, there, too. Oh, yeah, do that, too. Um, right. So with the 20 kit, can we do more than two units? Is it sure. capable? Okay. How many can you do with a uh, 20 kit? Well, typically four. Okay. Um, and we have twinned even six to eight uh, units. Uh, what's really neat is you've got an input for a thermostat, Mm -hmm. And then you have your outputs, you know, HVAC unit one, HVAC right. unit two, 
uh, 24 volt separate power in but we also have what we call auxiliary terminals and these auxiliary terminals basically match the thermostat input terminals okay so if I wanted to twin four units I just use two of these <clears throat> and I just uh, run my either you know W1 W2 if you have it or Y1 Y2 if you have it your mm -hmm. G we got a reversing valve if we're using right. a heat pump and only the R rather than the common because this outputs to the next thermostat input uh, or the next twinning kit. I gotcha. So I could have four units, I could add three of them, now I can have six units and I've actually twinned together. Hmm. Rare, but it, what, we've done it before. Four, not uncommon, Right. but we don't see it a lot. Okay. Uh, a lot of times you'll see three, three units and they say, well, I got three furnaces hmm. and, how, and they're all twinned. Right. Uh, not a problem. Just add another panel. Makes it real easy. Awesome. So before we go, Phil, can you think of any other common um, applications or any kind of problems that our contractors run into where this would be a great solution other than, you know, you gave the church analogy um, or maybe like a big warehouse? Um, where else do you think this plays a huge part or a huge role? Well, it, play, it plays a large role in our industry um, because we sell a ton of twinning kits. Mm -hmm. Uh, and there has to be a reason for that. Uh, I'll give you a, a, an example. Uh, and it doesn't have to be a church. It could be a commercial building. Mm -hmm. Typically, it's going to be commercial, like commercial. Right. Uh, could be some industrial applications. But uh, when you look at the uh, economy with regards to what you would play, pay for a split system, a heating mm -hmm. air conditioning package, you know, split system, versus a packaged rooftop unit, mm -hmm. uh, the the uh, economics of buying two split systems sometimes uh, outweigh buying a packaged rooftop unit, uh, and we see this a lot. Where mm -hmm. they say, "Holy mackerel, you know, we need uh, we need 15 tons of cooling, <laughs> but we can't afford that big packaged right. rooftop unit." Yeah. And you know, you got to set the thing, you got to put in curves, put on and the all crane, stuff. take it right. up on the roof. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> you could you know do the math, and the guy says, "Well, we'll use." Uh, a couple seven and a half ton splits or a couple five ton splits and uh, we'll twin them together. Uh, this is done all the time and there's literally thousands and thousands of applications out there uh, that require either twinning or paralleling and this is a great great product. Very simple to install, easy to understand. We do ask you to read these <laughs> really comprehensive instruction. Don't throw it away yeah, immediately it away. out of the box. And Read it. If, if that doesn't work, give us a call. We're here to help. Absolutely. And you can talk to people like Phil every time you call us here at Jackson Systems. And uh, hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed this video. There's tons of other field engineering videos out there with Phil, um, you know, giving some very helpful pointers and tips on everything you guys can uh, encounter out there in the field. So thank you, Phil, for joining You're us welcome. today. Appreciate it. Thank you for uh, tuning in to another episode of Field Engineering. I'm your host, J.D. Brake. We hope to see you next time. Take care. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to smack that like button below. And if you want notifications on brand new videos that are coming out tailored just for you, be sure to subscribe right here to the Jackson Systems YouTube channel. Now, if there's some videos you missed, you can always check it out right here. Go ahead and click. Subscribe. Other videos. Like. Do it.